Campi Flegre, Italy's underground supervolcano. Italy's restless volcano could erupt for the first time since 1538. In the shadow of Italy's Mount Vesuvius, a little-known volcano rumbles to life, Campi Flegre. Its eruption could endanger millions of residents in the city of Naples. Campi Flegre has been in a restless period for about 70 years. Scientists say the modeling is the first of its kind in an attempt to predict eruptions of an active volcano. Campi Flegre, an Italian volcano that last erupted nearly 500 years ago, is becoming increasingly restless and could erupt again, according to a new study. Located in southern Italy, Campi Flegre's last recorded eruption was in 1538. According to NASA, Campi Flegre's caldera cluster, or firefield, is made up of overlapping volcanic features, including calderas, domes, and cinder cones. Geologists from University College London and Italy's National Institute of Geophysical and Volcanological Research published a study Friday that used modeling of recent earthquake activity and uplift to show that the volcano is stretched almost to its breaking point and could erupt. Predicting when a volcano will erupt is not a perfect science. Scientists use a variety of techniques, including looking at a volcano's eruptive history, seismographic detection of earthquakes, and monitoring ground deformation and changes in gas emissions to predict when an eruption will occur. Earthquakes and tremors almost always precede an eruption, according to the Smithsonian's Global Volcanism Program. And the study authors say, Campi Flegre has the ingredients for an eruption. The volcano has been restless for more than 70 years, and tens of thousands of small earthquakes have occurred, along with uplift in Pozzuoli, Italy, that has stretched the volcano's crust. The team used models based on the physics of how rocks break apart to begin predicting the volcano's behavior. We first used the model in 2017, and since then, Campi Fligre has behaved as we predicted with an increasing number of small earthquakes indicating pressure from below, said study author Christopher Kilburn from UCL Earth Sciences. We now need to adjust our procedures to predict the possibility of new routes being opened for magma or gas to reach the surface. One of the biggest clues was observing earthquake patterns, which suggested the rocks at Campi Flegre were breaking rather than stretching. According to the study, the maximum pressure that Campi Flegre can withstand before breaking when stretched is about a third of the pressure it experienced in 1984. We can't see what's happening underground, said Stefania Danesi from INGV Bologna. Instead, we have to decipher the clues the volcano is giving us, such as earthquakes and uplift. The study suggests that parts of the volcano are weakening and that earthquakes are causing fluids, such as magma or molten rock and gas, to move beneath Campi Flegre. Even with all the hints of a future rift, the team says it doesn't mean it will happen. Campi Flegre may fall back into a new routine, rising and falling slowly, as seen at similar volcanoes around the world, or it may simply go quiet, Denesi said. We can't be sure what will happen. The important thing is to be prepared for all possibilities. The scientists say the model is the first of its kind to predict eruptions at an active volcano. The team plans to apply the model to other volcanoes. This marks a step change in our goal of improving eruption forecasts worldwide, Kilburn said.